If your iPhone 6S has unexpectedly shut down, we've solved the issue. Take a look. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the icon in the bottom right corner. And please be sure to also leave any comments or suggestions that you'd like to see in the future. So if you do a little searching, you'll find out that Apple has created a web page you can go to and check your iPhone 6S in regards to whether or not it meets the qualifications for the unexpected shutdown issue. One of the problems you'll have is the long wait that's associated with going to the Apple store to get this repair done. Apple will do this for free, but the problem is who's going to wait that long to get their phone fixed? So just in case you didn't know, the solution to fixing this issue is by replacing the battery, and that's what Apple will do for you if you end up going to their store. We might suggest a little faster fix that will also take care of this issue, and that's replace the battery with a battery from directfix.com. Just go to directfix.com, hover over the iPhone menu, and select the iPhone 6S. In the 6S product area, go ahead and select the iPhone 6S battery replacement. Then just go ahead and add the battery to the cart and check out. Don't worry, we're going to go over the video on how to actually install the battery and replace it yourself so you can save some money and time. Please read the following warning before attempting this repair. You're doing this repair at your own risk. Using a pentalobe screwdriver from directfix.com, remove the two bottom pentalobe screws. Using a case opener tool and a suction cup, lift gently up the screen and run the case opener tool around the edges to separate the adhesive. With the adhesive separated, use the suction cup to pull the screen up gently. Do not pull all the way out as there's cables attached. Keep the screen at a 90 degree angle as you might rip the cables if you go too far. Using a double zero Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws on the shield that's covering the battery connector. You can now remove the battery shield cover. Using a plastic pry tool, lift the battery cable up from the connector. There are two adhesive pull tabs you're going to need to lift up and towards the back of the phone. Once you have the pull tabs up, pull them back towards the back bottom of the phone. They should come right out. If they're still adhesive, you might need to use a plastic spudger to pull the battery up. Don't worry, you're replacing the battery anyways. Once you have the spudger all the way underneath, you can pry the battery up. Using the leftover adhesive or install some double-sided tape, go ahead and set the battery in place. You're now going to reconnect the connecting cable to the connector for the battery. Add back the shield and go ahead and screw in the two screws. You may now bring the screen down and start the process of getting the screen back into the frame of the case. With the screen all the way in, you can now insert the two pentalobe screws. Go ahead and turn on the phone and check to make sure your new battery's working and you're all set to go. Be sure to click on our other video thumbnails and click subscribe on the screen.